Hello everybody, welcome back to the next video. This time we're gonna talk about Ricky. It's like one of the best heroes in my opinion to grind MMR right now. And we are not talking about only dating stage, we're gonna just talk through this entire game. I think it's like 25 minutes or 28 minutes. And I'm gonna try to like cut it down to like 10 to 15 minutes. So let's just start and let's see how it goes. Like first of all, I want you guys to think about what are you landing against. The itemization on Ricky is like kind of always the same. You go up, you go up a Venom, two branches, Fairy Fire, one set of Tangos, and then you bring more region. The second one is, I'm playing with Darkseer against Ursa Disruptor. It basically means my goal is to like cut waves, give my Darkseer level 3, and then we just fuck them. Like the first thing we do is actually Darkseer is pulling, because I was pretty late, but he's doing a good job. And just watch what's happening right now. Drop the TP back from the base because I harassed him earlier. Darkseer is bringing back the wave, the Ursa is getting forced into his tower, and he's just kind of fucked. Like right now, we're just pushing our wave because of the tower advantage, and then we just pull it back. And like, this is a crucial moment. What you should think about you see, Udaxi is pulling the wave. Your first thought should be, Yo, I give this guy solo XP. I'm a Ricky, I don't give any fucks about my own experience, and I'm gonna own them anyway later on. So, let's see what happens here. Gotta speed it up a little bit. Very important, block the camps always, just do it. And if you look at my positioning, I'm not soaking any experience of the Darks here. And the Darks is like getting harassed a bit, but it doesn't matter. Look at his XP. Like Dax here is almost level 3. This is insanely good. And like Dax is almost level 3. Now I can like start laning with him and help him out. That's what I'm doing basically. Keep watching, keep watching. Dax is level 3. I'm forcing I'm forcing stuff. I'm dying. But if you look at the resources of the enemies, they don't have anything. Like they have tangos, they don't have any self. But when I come back and I just TP back in, they're just completely fucked. The Disruptor also used a glimpse, that means I can easily TP back in instantly. I'm TPing back in, I know they don't have any spells, they don't have any region. I'm just going on them. I don't care. Yeah, I'm even diving tower because I have Glyph. We kill the Disruptor. We slowly kill the Osa as well. I don't know why Akunka is in this position. He's the mid laner, by the way. <laughs> but Akunka is ganking us, but we still get a double kill, so it doesn't really matter. And also very important, whenever your offlaner dies, try to not push your wave and try to pull it back. Either you pull the big camp, or you pull the enemy wave back to your wave. Like I do it right now. If you just look at it, it's only two creeps, it doesn't really matter. But if you look at the creeps, I'm pulling them back, and the wave is going to be in a way better position than it would be when I just didn't do anything. Disruptor comes back, the wave is in a good position, my Darkseer is keeping back, he's like carefully because Disruptor is a glimpse of course, but it works out, everything is fine. He's iron shelling me, like right now, I'm fucking strong, I want to force shit. I'm mega horny to do it, but I'm playing it safe. Like the wave is in a bad position, if we dive the tower, the Kunka is probably going to come back. That's the reason why I'm pulling, so we can like destroy them when they come to the pull close. This is probably going to happen. Let's see. Uh, I force the Disruptor, he's dead. Look at this juke. <laughs> you can do this so many times with Ricky because you have two spells that are mobility. And you can just annoy people. And this is this should be your goal if you play this hero. Whenever you play Ricky, just try to be annoying as possible. Whenever you are the most annoying person in the world with Ricky, you're gonna <laughs> win the game 99%, trust me, because enemies are tilting as well. Just look at this in a normal perspective. I'm going left, Osa's going left. I'm going right, Osa's going right. He literally wasted like, I don't know, 25 seconds with me. And he's not even killing me. So this is just perfect. I'm going back to base, everything is good, coming back. And I'm still fucking strong, I wanna force. Because I have Iron Shell the free. I do not give any fucks about anything. We almost killed the Orsa, it's pretty close. And we actually kill him because of the Husker. But you, your goal should be, usually with Ricky, just to be fine in the lane. Like sometimes you can force a lot if you have like Darkseer, or Viper, Death Prophet. But if you have like a melee hero, let's say you have a Mars or Tide Hunter as a laning partner, you should usually just don't overcommit and just farm your lane. Be annoying as possible, farm your shard, this is very important. I'm gonna go on that point later on as well. Like right now they're trying to kill me. They don't even get me. That's how annoying I am. This is literally so good. What's happening? Alright, back to bottom. With Darkseer, I have the like luxury. I can just farm the jungle for him. And for myself with the shard as well. Like right now, they're trying to force on me and Darkseer. They probably will kill us. But we're gonna kill them as well. Like we are so strong, especially me. Just look at it. Like I'm killing almost two people. I'm almost saving my Darkseer with the Ricky Cloud. And it's just so good. I almost saved him even. Sadly, I killed him in this position, but almost. We're dying, but four people bought him. They died two people. 
everything is good everything is worth like right now my only thought in this game is like how can i activate my darks here and how i can activate my husker and that should be your goal as well either you act activate your off laner or you activate your mid laner so you can take one of these lanes to farm your shard later on the Ursa died again against me and Axia. It's like pretty bad for this game. I'm chilling mid. In my opinion, it's really bad actually, in hindsight. I should have been bottom and just play with the Daxia. Like, I'm not doing anything mid. Same as my Trine, my Trine should not be middle. And the position where I am right now should be draw ranger and farm. But if you look at that, what just happened there, just so nice to play with, with this hero. Like, look. I'm just annoying the Kunkka, I'm stealing his rune and he's just kind of fucked. Because I have two blinks and a fucking a mobility spell, that is like so annoying. Like you can't just do so much to fuck up your enemies with this hero. It is really ridiculous. Like right now the call is like go top. I'm running there but as I said I should be bottom. Going bottom is the right play in this position for sure. Because Darkseid is just so strong with me. Sadly he dies bottom but I'm running back to bottom and then we're just owning them again. Like when you looked at it, I did not do anything for like one and a half minutes because i went middle even higher rank people are doing mistakes and sometimes we are also just like humans so yeah just try to think where you can have a lot of impact and whatever you like think yo this is good trust me do it the first thought is always the right thought but like right now i come back to bottom my drone is just teeping my dax is gonna come back as well we're actually owning them again like they cannot fight me I'm a position for Ricky. They tried like they used like three spells, four spells, and they didn't kill me because I'm so mobile they cannot touch me at all. Like right now we get the bottom tower. It's very good. And look at this. If you think about these things, you're already good. Like I have a level six on Ricky. I'm in this. I see two cores top. I knew that the enemy supports were bottom and they probably TP it. But my play is just TP top with iron shell, stay in this there and just annoy them. Uh, if you look at the timer right now, it's twelve ten. Or 12 9 whatever and let's see how much time i'm wasting for the enemies 20 seconds already 30 seconds i've wasted 30 seconds of the enemies plus i got a deny whenever you get these plays and you like you think about them in the game and you see them as well then you are at this point like yo you will be good at some point trust me like, these plays are just important um in hindsight like you can learn them if you watch a lot of replays or if you watch my guides, of course. <clears throat> but yeah, like right now, 30 minutes, very important. This is like the most important point in this hero is two minutes or one minute before you can buy your shard. Please farm your shard or force a fight. Tell your team, yo guys, I want to fight. I need my shard. You need to do it. Like the most important thing on this hero is to get your fucking shard. If you get it on 15 minutes, I guarantee you, you are the strongest position for hero in the fucking game. And right now, I'm not doing much, but I'm forcing my team to do something. And it works out, like as I said, two minutes or one minute before. And just look at what happens. Silence. We're forcing middle. We're forcing a fight, as I said, before my shard, like one minute or two minutes. We get two kills. We fuck them. Everything works out. Good. I'm so close to my shard. Like right now, I'm farming my shard with Daxia Dux uh, shells. I'm getting killed. I'm pretty close to it. Like it's kind of unfortunate if you look at the timer. Like 15 seconds and I have my shard. I have the gold as well. But it doesn't matter because we're going to pick up a bounty and I have it. Like it's the perfect timing with the shard. I respawn. I have my shard. I TP middle. Bum. And now is the point where, uh, where, where Ricky is the most bonkers hero. Trust me. Just run around. Be in the positions where the enemy are. Give your team information with your invis. Put a lot of wards on the enemy side. Like tell your position 5, yo give me the fucking wards, I'm gonna place them for you. Because the enemies are usually not having sentries everywhere, so they're not gonna even expect your wards. So yeah, like right now I'm tracked sadly in the middle, so I'm not really doing much. I'm just waiting the track and then I'm gonna go. Just forcing. Just force with you, dart. It is so good. And look at this. Running in, they don't see me coming. We take a fight here probably and we win. The enemies are even rushing. Like it is just so good. You can just run everywhere and the enemies are not expecting it at all. If you look at it. Just look at my position. Sure, the DP is running at me, but this should be your position in the fights. Play outside of the fight. Wait for your cooldowns. And whenever you have your earth spell, you can go in once. Or you, you can use a dart. You can jump in. You can smoke. And then you can get out again with your first spell and wait for your next dart. This is like how you should play Ricky. Like be on the edge between the fight, middle, and the outside of the fight. 
as you can see we won this fight it was a pretty crucial situation but we still won it because we were not like over committing like with ricky you never want to over commit you always want to poke go back poke go back like i'm dying but we still want to fight so yeah this is like very important when you play ricky in team fights poke go back poke go back poke go back also with ricky what i want to tell you is defend your wards that you placed like i literally just tp it from base i came back and i just run at enemies again like it is, you can easily defend wards with Ricky because of your dart. You can just blink them, you can use your dart, you can blink on people, you can use your E, you can use your smoke in the E, and it is, it is just annoying. You cannot deal with it as a player. Like people need to be KB because of a Ricky smoke. Like whenever this Orsa jumps my draw or myself, I'm using one smoke, and if he's not BKB, he's not killing anybody. That just shows how strong this hero is right now. Like I'm just, look at me, I'm just annoying. Sadly, I died here because I fucked up, but I'm just annoying and we're winning the fights because of it. The fart seed of Ricky, in my opinion, should be definitely have a decent lane. Help your teammates as much as possible. Like, win your chorus game from minute 0 to 10. And after that, you should focus on your dart. Like, you need your shard. No matter what, what your chorus is, uh, what your chorus is saying, tell him, yo, I need my shard. Whenever we have shard, we're gonna just run at them and we fuck them. Like, Ricky is just a different type of hero when he has a shard. Before, he's just a creep that is, like, annoying. But when he has his shard, he's a creep that is a fucking giga chat. So, please, guys, farm your shard at least 2 minutes before 15 minutes. Whenever you, like, think about it every game, you're gonna grind them out with this hero. Like, I, ha I have, like, 80% win rate on this hero and, like, 30 games. So, please, farm your shard. Take the wards from your position 5 when you're at level 6 and place them deep in the enemy side so you can actually see them and you can like gank them whenever you want to the next point is with ricky when you're level six do not run up high grounds without vision or without a smoke like i know this i know this point of like going a uh, going high ground with any hero is like different but with ricky you never know do they have a ward do they have a sentry there so either you take fights on a normal like field just don't run on high grounds with ricky trust me you can do it only if you go from an angle where the enemies are not expecting it like as example I'm gonna show you like one situation let's say you want to go high ground on this triangle you have smoked right now with your team you are playing in this position the only way you can go up this high ground is either you run up there but it's also risky or you get into this position with a ricky and just run up there like, nobody's gonna have a sentry in this position. It's either here, in this, or here. So these, like, one, two, three, four cliffs are actually crazy risky for yourself. You can easily die against anything. So, the best play in this situation would be, like, you tell your team to smoke. You already, like, let's say you're just running here. You're going this direction. You're just running, like, you're just running like this. You go this direction, you go up this high ground, you put a water a sentry here, if there's an enemy ward, you just kill it, and when you see an enemy, you instantly dart him. That's it, guys. That was the Ricky guide for now. I hope I did not fuck it up too much, because it, was, it is my first time, like, talking about a hero more than, like, 20 or 30 minutes. I'm gonna try to cut it down, like, to 10 or 15 minutes, and thanks for watching. If you guys want more of these, let me know in the comments, and bye-bye.